Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. So I was just getting off work and I was getting ready to try out my new Rode Wireless Pros that I got. And then I got this text message from Samsung. Brian, Samsung has an important message about your trade-in for order blah blah blah. Please check your email for all of the details. Needless to say, when I got this message, my heart kind of skipped a beat because I've done a million trade-ins with Samsung before. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but you know, I've done a ton of them, quite a few, and I've never got a message like that before. So I opened up my email, and to my surprise, this is what I got. So they were claiming that my Fold 4 was unable to boot, which I knew was a bunch of crap because I completely reset it before I traded it in. I took uh, videos and pictures of everything, and uh, so what I did is I went ahead and started a Samsung chat session and I basically put it to him like this. My Fold 4 had no issues whatsoever. I have videos and pictures that I've taken of me boxing it up. I'm showing it to where I've done the factory reset and everything looks good. And I said, how about this? If you guys can't get it to boot up, how about you send me back the Fold 4 and I will go ahead and return my Fold 5. And I'll just go back to using my Fold 4 because I know it works perfectly. I'm like, there is no way in heck that it doesn't turn on. So they basically put me on hold for a little bit. I wasn't on a call with them, just a chat. But they said they'd be back in a little bit. A little bit turned into about 20 minutes or so. And that resulted in this here on your screen. So I don't know what they did in the back end, but basically they said, don't worry about it. The charge is not going to go on your card. And they even followed up with this email here letting me know that a chargeback won't be happening on my card. So I don't know what magic words I said. Maybe it was a threat that I was, you know, going to just send back my Fold 5. I didn't want it. I'll just go ahead and use my 4. I don't know what it was, but magically, out of nowhere, without me having to push any additional buttons, I'm not getting charged now on my card. They accepted the trade-in. So I guess the moral of the story is, is if you get one of these notices from Samsung, and you know in good conscience that you sent in a good device. You know, there was no problems with it and they're saying you have problems. Fight. Fight. Open up a Samsung chat window. Head over to Samsung support. Start a chat. And I always recommend when you do these trade-ins, make sure you have pictures and videos of you getting it all boxed up. Because there's a lot of people that also complain that Samsung will get an empty box. So don't be one of those people that aren't prepared for that. I hate to see that happen to anyone. So I just wanted to share my quick experience here. I wasn't expecting to do this video. Believe me, my heart like skipped a beat when I saw that email, when I saw that red at the end, you know? That is not a good look at all. So uh, I'm very happy now that it's all been resolved and just wanted to share this experience with you. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.